Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. The history of the US. Japan relations has not always been one of collaboration. However, after the incredibly destructive Second World War, these two countries have become staunch allies, greatly influencing foreign policy across East Asia. The United States even maintains several permanent bases in the country and has participated in numerous cross-training drills and exercises. That's why it should come as no surprise that the two nations often share military technology with one another. A prime example is the Shin Meiwa US-2 seaplane. This unique amphibious aircraft was specifically designed as a short takeoff and landing plane. This means it can operate from virtually any environment, including traditional runways, landing strips, and oceans and lakes. The plane is roughly 110 feet long and can carry up to 20 passengers. Its four powerful Rolls-Royce AE2100J turboprops put out more than 4,500 horsepower each, which allows the plane to reach speeds as high as 350 miles per hour. More importantly, the plane can travel very slowly, achieving speeds as low as 56 miles per hour before stalling. All of this is extremely important due to the plane's primary mission, air-to-sea rescue. That said, both the Japanese and U.S. militaries see the U.S. too as ideal for maritime surveillance, firefighting, and cargo transport. Japanese manufacturer Shinmeiwa first introduced the U.S. II in March of 2007. Its primary user is the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force, and so far, only eight of these unique planes have been constructed. That might all change very soon due to interest from the U.S., India, and several other nations. But the U.S. too has immense potential. Not only does it boast a max takeoff weight of 100,000 pounds, but it can also operate in waves as high as 10 feet. This would dramatically improve the U.S.'s ability to operate in the Pacific. No doubt, U.S. military leaders also appreciate the U.S.-2's impressive range of around 2,800 miles and its ability to stay airborne for over 10 hours without refueling. For all these reasons, United States pilots and navigators have already begun working with Japanese forces in order to learn to operate the aircraft most effectively. These airmen are assigned to U.S. Air Force Special Operations Command. They are training alongside Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force members in Iwakuni, Japan, regarding the proper use and operation of the U.S. II. Among the topics being covered is the deployment of special marker buoys, which use smoke to alert nearby boats and aircraft of potential threats or individuals needing rescue. If the United States military were to adopt the plane down the line, 
these men and women would be able to provide comprehensive training to their fellow airmen. The US-2 is part of a long line of maritime aircraft developed by the Japanese military, but it is not the more recent. That title goes to the Kawasaki P-1 Maritime Patrol Aircraft, which entered service in 2007. Though it is not designed to take off and land on the water, the P-1 specifically intends to provide surveillance over Japan's coastal waters. Though it looks like a civilian aircraft at first glance, the P-1 is actually a very formidable opponent. Its four IHI core F7 turbofan engines allow the 124 foot long plane to reach speeds of more than 600 miles per hour, while also giving it a range of more than 5,000 miles. This is crucial to the aircraft's defensive capabilities, as Japan has a total coastline of more than 18,000 miles. The P-1 boasts a sleek aerodynamic design with swept wings and a T-tail configuration, not unlike a passenger plane. However, the avionics, weapons, and sensors on board make it a real threat to any boat, submarine, or other vessel that might be lurking off Japan's coast. For example, the P-1 boasts an active electronically scanned array radar system and multi-static sound navigation sonar. This makes it very adept at surveillance and anti-submarine warfare operations. It can also employ infrared and electro-optical sensors, a magnetic anomaly detection system and a sono buoy launcher system to further investigate potential threats without having to land. When it does detect a threat, the plane and its crew can use everything from missiles and mines to depth charges and torpedoes to deal with it. While they are not lethal, the most critical countermeasures aboard the P-1 are the sono buoys. These deployable floating sonar units can be dropped from beneath the aircraft or thrown out of the open hatch door. Once in the water, they send out a powerful sonar signal which helps the P-1 accurately triangulate the position of enemy submarines and other threats. The P-1 is not the only aircraft produced by Kawasaki to recently enter service with the Japanese military. The C-2 is a mid-sized twin turbofan military transport that first entered service in 2016. The C-2 primarily transports troops, equipment, and humanitarian aid. It can be quickly converted to support a wide range of other missions, including aerial refueling, search and rescue, and medical evacuation. The aircraft is 144 feet long and has a wingspan of around 145 feet. Its max payload capacity is around 82,000 pounds, enabling it to carry various loads, including vehicles, helicopters, and large cargo pallets. What makes the C-2 so unique is its ability to operate from extremely short and often remote runways with minimal infrastructure. It 
It is also prized for its impressive range, which can be as much as 4,600 miles with a 20-ton load. The United States military has always maintained a policy of cooperation with its allies, including hosting and participating in a wide range of joint exercises. From simple maneuvers and drills to complete combat scenarios, These joint exercises are crucial to each country's ability to work together. One of the most notable examples involving both the United States and Japan is Exercise Iron Fist. This annual training event takes place at Camp Pendleton, California and involves both the U.S. Marine Corps and the Japanese Ground Self-Defense Force. Iron Fist aims to deepen the military-to-military -military relationship between the USMC and JGSDF. It allows personnel from both forces to interact, exchange knowledge, and develop mutual understanding and trust. It generally features drills intended to improve coordination and interoperability. but particularly emphasizes amphibious assault operations. Again, as an island nation, Japan has lots of experience both conducting and defending against coordinated landings of troops and equipment from naval vessels. On the other side of the world, Japan hosts a biennial exercise known as Orient Shield. This time, the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force works with members of the United States Army, with the goal being to enhance interoperability, promote regional stability, and strengthen the partnership between the U.S. and Japan. Orient Shield is typically held at the Joint Training Center on the northern island of Hokkaido. From a tactical standpoint, it provides an opportunity for both countries' forces to train together, share tactics, techniques, and procedures, and develop a better understanding of each other's military capabilities. The exercise focuses on various aspects of modern warfare, including tactical maneuvering, counter-insurgency operations, humanitarian assistance, and disaster relief. Overall, joint exercises between nations are vital to promoting military cooperation, strengthening alliances, improving readiness, and enhancing regional and global security. They not only foster trust and help build relationships, but they facilitate the exchange of knowledge and expertise. For two countries with such a rocky past, this is extremely important. Fortunately, both the US and Japan have managed to put their histories behind them so they can forge a partnership that is beneficial to themselves as well as other nations in the region. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.